What is going on YouTube? What's going on Red Nation? It is your boy Red is underscore nineteen eighty five, aka Byron. You already know what the deal is, man. Um, we lose thirty to seventeen, was it? I don't really remember. Uh, don't really. Um, but yeah, we fall to two and three, guys. Uh, we started off this season two and zero, oh, high expectation, high hopes. Um, going into the season, we were hyped up. Um, and everything was good. We played against the Tennessee Titans. Offense looked unstoppable. Defense came through. Um, game two, offense still looked unstoppable. Defense played good. And then uh, week three came, and then we played the Washington Redskins, and we got our asses whooped really good. Uh, offense looked I don't even I can't even describe the word, but offense looked like complete shit. The next game, Carr goes out. Close game, but we overall weren't doing anything on the run nor passing game. And then today, Joe Flacco's not even having a really good season this year. Struggles to stretch the ball down the field. And the very first time he drops back, he throws this big-ass bomb to Mike Wallace. Sean Smith got burned really bad. Um, Mike Wallace balled out on us. I'm thinking this is the Pittsburgh Steelers' Mike Wallace. Remember when he was with Pittsburgh and the nigga was lit? Then he went to the Dolphins, MIA. Went to the Ravens, MIA, and then he resurrected his career with us. Just having a just... With two catches, he had over 100 receiving yards, but we couldn't stop the run. They had over, what, 117 or some more yards on us. Couldn't stop the run. I don't even believe we got a sack, did we? No, I don't think we did. Um, and the play that pissed me off about the defense is that one play when Joe Flacco was going, and he, remember, and he fucking fell, and then he spun around and it was some some grace of glory. This nigga just throws it while he's getting hit here and hit here. And Jeremy Macklin caught the ball for a first down. Let me find out Joe Flacco is Russell Wilson. Let me find out. Um, didn't get the sack. Where was the coverage? I don't know. Um, then on the offensive side, Jared Cook with that fumble made it 14-0. All the momentum had just switched over to the Baltimore Ravens side, man. And again, Amari Cooper, where is this dude at? This is uh, this is had back-to-back thousand-yard receiving seasons his rookie year and this year, and. Where the fuck is Amari Cooper at, man? Like, it's getting to the point where I'm pissed off. Like, two targets? One catch, fam. Michael Crabtree had a good game. Well, he had, like, 80-something yards, six catches or somewhere around that, and a touchdown. Props to you, uh, Crabtree, man. I liked what we did with the run game. Marshawn started getting going. Jalen Rashard started going, getting it going. Uh, that nice run by Alo, Alo. I know I'm gonna say his wrong, name wrong. Alawale. That's how you say Alawale. Um. But overall, man, this team has regressed. It's declined. Ever since that 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 Redskins game. We are now two and three. We are what third place in the AFC West. Started off what first. Um, I believe, and like I said, I understand, I might be overreacting, I don't really care, it's just how, how it is, um, after the season is over, there's two things I would like to see happen, especially on the defensive side, one, Ken Norton Jr., I've seen enough of this guy's defense, I've seen enough of it, we have players, and it just still just, with the first year, we were 22nd in the league under Ken Norton Jr.'s defense. I was like, all right. You know, we'll see what happens. The next year, we started, what, the first two games, we gave over 1,000 yards at total defense, of yards on defense. 
finished 26th last year. I was thinking and I was hoping we were going to fire Ken Norton Jr., but no, we decided to go after Bill Musgrave, even though we had, what, the 6th ranked offense last year and the 26th ranked defense, but we fired the offensive coordinator and then we keep Ken Norton Jr. Where they do that at? Please explain to me that. But then I was like, okay, I'm going to give Ken Norton, Ken, Ken, Ken Norton Jr. one more year. I said, this defense better look somewhat impressive. It's three years, and it's looked like trash. It's trying to copy that Seattle defense, which we don't have Seattle players like that to be have. But it's just, I've, I've seen enough. At the end of the season, I want Ken Norton, Ken, whatever the fuck. You know, Ken Norton Jr. gone. I'm done seeing it. Just being real. If I'm overreacting, it is what it is. But I'm t I, I don't think he's a right fit for defense coordinator. And... When we went in free agency, there was two corners the Raiders were targeting. Janoris Jenkins, who ended up going to the, uh, the Giants, and then Sean Smith. And I didn't do a video, but I was more impressed with Sean Smith. And I said, we should bring Sean Smith to the Oakland Raiders. It will help out our secondary tremendously. After two years, fam, I'm cool. I've seen enough. I'm done with the exper that, that experiment after this year. I want to see Sean Smith gone. That's just two. That's just two, but we'll get into that because it's just... I don't know, man. We, it's just... It's looking bad, man. Hopefully, it doesn't keep going like this. Hopefully, it doesn't. But losing three games in a row... And the, the and we lost four games last year, and we've already lost three in the first five. You know what I'm saying? It's... And then with Amari, man, I love that fucking... Y'all don't understand how much I love Amari Cooper. Y'all really do not understand how much I love this dude. And to see this dude get targeted twice. Amari, man, what's going on, man? I mean, is he MIA? Can we get a screen pass to him? Can we put him in a slot, set him up? We were putting him in the slot and all that. But just move him around or something. It's, it's looking, I don't know. But yeah, it's two and three. Uh, EJ Manuel played really well. I was actually impressed, man. Props to you, uh, EJ. Uh, they said Derek Carr might play next week. We'll see how that goes. And what else What else was I going to say? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Um, but yeah, man, it was just, it was, it was. I just couldn't get over that. Mike Wallace, a guy who hasn't been productive in years, was putting work on us. Joe Flacco, who was having a struggling year this year. And I remember they said he's struggling with the deep ball passes, even though that's what he's known for. And the first fucking time he drops back, he throws a deep ass pass over Sean Smith. Couldn't stop the run. And then that fourth down play, that one fourth down when it was what? When it was 17 uh, um, 24. And I'm thinking we going to go for it. But we punt it. What was it? Fourth and three or something like that? But then the fourth and 20 play, when it's clearly no time left, we'll go for that. We'll go for that one. Makes sense, man. It really does. Um, I'm tired, man. Um. There ain't really much else to say. We need to get our shit together. We got the Chargers next week. And I want to be 500 by then, man. I'm tired of... If we go 2-4, and four, man, it's, it's going to be a long-ass season. But, yeah, anyways, Raider Nation, y'all let me know what y'all thought about the game, what y'all think about the season, what you think about the defense, offense, you know, whatever, whoever. To, just let me know down there what y'all think, man. Um... But yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe, all that bull, you know, link in the description, all that, man. And, um, stay strong, Red Nation. Keep your hopes up. I'm keep, I'm trying to keep my hopes up, but it is depressing, man. Especially when it's like, we don't go to the playoffs for 14 years. The one year we do good, we can't even get our quarterback in the playoffs. And then the next year, we just start looking it's just, it's a sick game. It's a sick game. But anyways, I'm, I'm over here, Ren. 
uh, just let me know, Red Nation. Uh, peace out, man, and I will talk to y'all next week. Go Raiders.